you weren't supposed to rewrite that. I already wrote it. You're not supposed to fix it. So to leave it. Yeah. Just don't leave it. No. All right, here we go. So on the next page here, we're going to talk about those multiple meaning words. Okay? Remember, words that sound exactly the same, they're spelled exactly the same, but they have two different meanings. Okay? So, for example, we have a bat, which is an animal. Or you could be talking about a baseball bat, right? They're both spelled B-A-T, but bat. All right? So it says draw a picture to show another meaning of each word. Okay? And then circle the picture that shows the meaning of the word in the sentence. Okay, so for the example here, let's say the word bowl. Bowl. I like to bowl with my friends. Okay? So first of all, let me ask you this. I should have done this first, sorry. What is another, what is a bowl? We have bowling, kind of like over here, like a sport. What's the other bowl that they're talking about? Bowl, we have eight. A bowl. Like a bowl that does what? What does a bowl do? You can cook. Okay, so you can use a bowl, a bowl for cooking. Uh, you can put stuff in it, right? Okay, so let's draw a bowl over here. So there's a bowl. Okay, just, let's just do this one first, hold again. Okay, just let's draw a bowl. Okay, so in that bowl, you might have a bowl of cereal in the morning. You might have a bowl of mac and cheese, right? So draw me a bowl in that other box. It's one bowl. Where are we going? Draw a bowl. Draw a, a top tier bowl. Okay. All right, so which picture? matches the sentence. I like to bowl with my friends. Is it the one on the left or the one on the right? Yes. Everyone point. Can you point to the left or to the right? Which way? Very good. Over here to the, sorry, to the, uh, to the left. I'm reversed, so I always get confused. Okay, so circle that picture of the bowling ball, right? You can't Take a bowl and bowl with your friends. What are you going to do with that? That's not bowling. That doesn't make any sense of it. Okay, so now the next word, duck. Duck. Look over here at this picture. But what's another picture we could draw for duck? What kind of duck should we draw, Brayden? Like quack, quack, the animal, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll draw a duck. So here's the, their bill here, right? Yeah. There's like a duck, okay? Well, I'm, I'm, the less is more sometimes, okay? I'm just drawing a little bit here. He had his bill, the duck bill, right? Got his little back little feathers there, his feet, webbed feet. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Yeah, maybe I'll have to say quack over here. Quack. Quack. Quack, 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 quack. Okay. So I'm going to read the sentence. Okay, unless someone wants to read the sentence for me. Um, and then we have to circle which picture matches the sentence. Okay? So here's the sentence in the middle. All right. We just said you want to try to read it for us? There was only one duck at the park. Very good. There was only one duck at the park. Which picture? The one on the left or the one on the right? Can you guys point? Why? Very good. Excellent. Everyone's pointing over here. The animal the duck is what we're talking about, okay? What is she doing over here? Yeah. Yeah. You know, the bee's coming. Oh, duck! You know we play our games all the time? The snowballs are being thrown, right? And they play the duck, right? So to duck is like a motion. Like you're moving and you're getting out of the way. Okay? All right. So there we go. Multiple meaning words. Good job, guys. Okay, as soon as you circle that, go ahead and close your Bible.